If you're going to be a master in the art of living, you absolutely must make this key distinction. This is Brian Kane with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast. And today I share with you another poem. It's like poetry week here on Mental Performance Daily, where I'm going to teach you a poem from a guy named James Mishner, where he talks about being the master in the art of living. Here we go. He says, the master in the art of living makes little distinction between his work and his play his labor and his leisure, his mind and his body, his information and his recreation, his love and his religion. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he does, leaving others to decide whether he is working or playing. To him, he's always doing both. Now, growing up, I always heard people say, if you can find what you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I'm not sure that's actually true. I love coaching mental performance. There's a lot of days where I do work. And I think in order to get to a level of performance where you're going to get the results that you're looking for, there's going to be days where you love it. There's going to be days where you don't. It's what we call, or my mentor, Ken Revisa, used to always call the love-hate relationship. If you're an athlete, you're going to have a love-hate relationship with what you do. There's days where you love it. There's going to be days where you don't. Do the work anyway. Because if you're going to be a master in the art of living, it can't be all work, but I also don't think it can be all play. It has to blend those two things together, right? And it's a big part of who you are. It's a big part of what you do every day. But the master, the master, those who have achieved the highest level of performance, right? There's greatness, there's excellence, then there's mastery, the best at what you do. And the master in the art of living, living your best life, makes little distinction between his work and his play. See, it's the same thing. Like I'm working and playing at the same time. He makes little distinction between his labor and his leisure, what's work and what he loves to do. His mind and his body is connected in the present moment. His information and his recreation, his love and his religion. He hardly knows which is which. He simply pursues his vision of excellence at whatever he does, leaving others to decide whether he's working or playing to him. He's always doing both. So today, my friends, as a member of our Mental Performance Daily Podcast community, when people observe you doing what you do, are you working? Are you playing? Or are you doing both? Let's make sure that we take our leisure and our labor and we blend those two things together and let's have fun doing the work today.